All right, hello everybody. CryptoVin here, CryptoVin YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'm just starting my channel out. I want to do some things a little bit differently than the bigger channels. I want to uh, get back to my subscribers and interact with them more. I know sometimes with the bigger channels, uh, you can ask a question or comment, and you get no response. So if you have a project you're interested in mining, you want to know more about, I'll do that work for you. Just let me know what you want. Okay, today I'm going to talk about Zero Classic. It is another privacy coin. Zero Classic Decentralized Currency. I'm here on their website, zeroclassic.org. Uh, you can get the wallet here right off the bat, but let's talk about the cryptocurrency itself. Anonymous fork from Zcash and Zero. It adds shielded transactions via ZK Snark protocol. Okay, what is ZK Snark? I have here an article from Zcash. You can look at. I'll put it in the description, the web, the uh, website. And what is our ZK Snark? Zcash is the first widespread application of ZK Snark. It's a novel form of zero. Knowledge cryptography, the strong privacy guarantee of Zcash, is derived from the fact that shielded transactions Zcash can be fully encrypted on the blockchain, yet still be verified as valid under the network's consensus rules by using ZK snark proofs. So when you get a chance, you can check that out, read about it a little bit more in depth. I'm just going to do a brief overview of it. Okay, let's move on. Decentralized ASIC resistant, which is good for us GPU miners. Equihash 92 underscore 7 memory intensive mining algorithm requires high end CPU GPUs. What is Zero Classic? <clears throat> Revolutionary cryptocurrency and transaction platform based on Zcash. It's a fork of Zero currency and Zero. Zero is a fork of Bitcoin. Here are the coin specifications, the roadmap, you can see what they've done in the past, and the explorer here, which contains useful information you want to check out. Total supply, 7,559,810, very low. Market cap, etc. Okay, let's go back up to the wallet. Brings you back down here. So Windows, Linux, Mac. I use the Windows Modern Wallet myself. Here's the team. Actually, let's click on one of these guys if we can. I can't click on them. So let's go to Frequently Asked Questions. Talks about how to mine it, which is important. It's a list, list of pools. When will it, new exchanges be added? Talks about that. How, how can you help? Community support and donations. Consider donating or mining to our Z -Cla Zero Classic address. Okay, let's go to the pool. Actually, you can see what exchanges they're listed on here. But let's go to the pool now. So here's community pool. This is what I'm using. And you want to click on connection information. This will give you some hints on what to put in your command line. So here's G minor. That's what you want to look for on Simple mining, here's the algorithm here. You don't want to use miner.exe. That's if you're on Windows. We're using simple miner, so we're going to use this. Let's go to simple mining. As you can see here, I'm mining zero classic right now. Let's go over to the heads up here. So you can see I'm getting shares. So my command line is working successfully. Let's go to group configuration. 
So here is zero classic. So you want to get G minor on simple mining. Down here is G minor. You want to use the latest version. And here's where you're going to put the where you're going to put the command line in. You can name it. So I named it zero classic zero classic pool G minor. G minor one, version 1.92. And here is the algorithm here. I'm sorry, the command line here. I'm using algorithm 192 underscore seven, like it says on the website. That's the Equihash algorithm. Server is us-pool.zeroclassic.org, port 6001. Here's my public address, mining address here. Let me expand that out for you. If I can. Okay, so I'll put this in the command line so you can get going mining. Go back to rig list. I'm mining with my six 1060s Zotax. I haven't overclocked it. I'm mining something else right now, but uh, that's something you'll want to look up and research uh, what the best settings are for your particular G NVIDIA GPUs I'm using. Okay, everybody, I hope that helps. Hope that gets you going fast. Please leave a question and comment. And uh, again, thank you for watching and appreciate it.